Hello, I'm Jason Spear with Caterpillar Marine. I work in the product development side of the 3500 product. And standing behind me here is the 3516E new marine engine that we're uh, using for our latest emissions tier, EPA Tier 4 and IMO 3. It marks the 35th anniversary of this engine product for us. It's kind of built a legacy, if you will, and we want to retain that as far as moving forward into Tier 4. So we've made a lot of design changes to this product that will allow us to continue that legacy. This is a 3385 horsepower product. This is a max continuous rating. In the past, that product would have been an intermittent duty. So we're building in more power density capability with the 3500E platform. There's also several new options that we're bringing in that are more marine specific. For example, uh, this engine is safety of life at sea compliant. It's also certified to all 13 IACS uh, Marine Society members. We bring in these hard heat shields. So these are all uh, Solos compliant around the, the, the exhaust manifolds, the aftercooler, and the turbochargers. We've got a couple new options that we maybe have not had in the past. You know, we've got a closed crankcase ventilation system, which gives the customer the option to be able to uh, not have to pipe the exhaust fumes from the crankcase out of the vessel. It goes right back into the intake of the engine and it's filtered. Obviously, you know, was part of the marine society requirements, we have explosion relief valves down on the crankcase doors. Walking around to the, the other side, you know, we can see the new heat shield designs, how clean they are, and, and they're really designed for serviceability so that we can get in and get out of, if we have to service anything underneath and still be compliant. And we're bringing in uh, fuel cooler options, so the engine does have the capability to uh, basically, we still water from the, the SCAC side and we cool the, the fuel, all contained and packaged nicely on the engine versus uh, in the past where, we, where we've not been able to do that. We also have options for oil mist detection on these higher horsepower engines. You can see we've went to a more electronic type system here, all packaged nicely on the engine. From a cooling system standpoint, we've got uh, three or four uh, cooling options. This particular engine is equipped with a keel cooled uh, version. We also have an option for a plate type heat exchanger in which uh, when we provide that solution, we actually integrate all the expansion of the water volume contained onto the engine. So both SCAC and jacket water are contained in the cooling system. So we just launched this product November 16, 2016, and this is our, our product of the future to meet EPA Tier 4. So we've got a lot of information out there. Please contact your local dealer for, for more information. And we're excited about this product uh, moving forward.